Two PC stream setups are still a thing, and if you want to try it for free without a capture card, I'm about to tell you how. Welcome back. If you're new around here, my name is Chris and this is Coalition Gaming, where I like to share my knowledge of PC building, repairing and streaming with you all. If you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. Several of my most popular videos have been about the OBS NDI plugin for two or more PC streaming. Unfortunately, development on that plugin hasn't really progressed and now there's a new alternative called OBS Teleport. What does it do? Well, exactly the same thing, but hopefully better. Same, same, but different, but still same. I've been a big proponent of NDI and have even used it to stream LAN parties and other special events, as well as inspiring friends like the Toasty Bros and Christopher Yee to use them occasionally in their own streams. I always preferred the simpler OBS to OBS method with NDI, which completely relied on the old plugin. And unfortunately, this would occasionally have audio desync issues that were difficult to overcome. I am not being fed, shut up. So the first thing I checked before trying this new OBS Teleport plugin was the reviews and it made me feel good to see that there were comments specifically talking about not having any audio desync. Perfect. So let's get down to the desktop and I'll show you how to set it up. It's super simple. So here we are at the desktop of the gaming computer. This is where you're going to want to set up your gameplay inside of OBS as well as any overlays or anything like that that you wanted to do if you wanted to do it that way. So first things first, Google the OBS Teleport plugin, and then you go on over to the first result up there, OBS Teleport, and then you click go to download over here on the right side. Once you click that, it'll take you over to the GitHub page, and then you can just click the OBS Teleport.zip. When you click that, it'll actually start to download, which you can see right up here. Once that is, uh, once that's downloaded, click the file and you want to extract the stuff to a folder where you want to remember that. So I'm going to extract it to my downloads. I created a folder called teleport two, and that's where I'm going to put it in, press okay. And then I go over to that downloads folder. So I went to downloads, then teleport two, which is the folder that it's in and install it according to what OS you're using. Since I'm on windows, I'm going to click windows x86 64, and then double click the exe to install the plug. Again. Go ahead and press yes, I agree. Make sure that this is pointing at the, the correct OBS plugin file path. Generally, if you haven't did a, done a custom install where you put a file path, a custom file path to put it in another folder, then this should be default correct. Press install, it's really quick, you press close. Now, once you have that, you can just go ahead and close everything and then open OBS. Now here I am with OBS open and to double check that you have teleport installed, you go over to tools on the top and then you click teleport. You see it right there. It's in that list of tools. That's how you know the plugin installed correctly. Editing Chris here. I forgot to mention that before you enable teleport, you need to go into your video settings in OBS and set the transmission there. So 1080p 60, that would be the second box. The first one is your base canvas. So whatever your monitor resolution is or whatever base canvas you want it to be. But that second box there and the at frames per second, that's what's going to get sent to the second computer. And that's what you're going to want to basically set the second computer to uh, stream out to Twitch or YouTube or wherever. But make sure you set this part up first to what you want to stream at and then you can enable teleport. So here we go. Now to enable teleport, let's go ahead and start that. We're gonna press teleport. You're gonna give it an identifier that's naming the PC. So I'll put gaming PC and then leave the rest alone. Now quality is something you're gonna to wanna to play with. I, I like around, let's say 60% quality because the higher you, you crank this up, the more network bandwidth it's going to use. And that can be a big problem because if you don't have a lot of network bandwidth, if you're trying to do this over Wi-Fi, and I'm talking about just your local network, right? Your, the speed from your computer to your switch. That's it, not your internet speed. Most networks are gigabit speed and should be able to handle this just fine. So just start at 60% here, see how you like it, go up and down, see how it affects your ping or any download speeds or anything like that. So now with this configured, press the checkbox, teleport is enabled, press okay. And then we go over to the second PC, the streaming PC. So here we are at the desktop of the streaming PC. This is the second PC that you would have in your setup. Go ahead and redo the steps to install the OBS teleport plugin, which I've already gone ahead and done. Then you can go ahead and open OBS studio. 
with, with uh, OBS Studio open, you just go down here to add that as a source. Like, let's double check that teleport is installed. There it is, tools, teleport, that's how you know. But we're not enabling teleport on the second PC. This is the PC that is receiving the teleport feed from the first PC. So to do that, you click plus, you click uh, teleport in the source list, you'll see that there. And then how I named out the other one, uh, well, first you're gonna name it a source name, we're just gonna call it teleport, and then allow access so it has access through your network. You wanna click refresh list, and this is where we're gonna see gaming PC, the name that we gave to the main PC pop up. You click that, and there it is, right there in the drop down, gaming PC, and there's the local uh, address and you saw how I had a starting soon screen up on it over there now we see it over here and uh, whatever video output settings you've configured on that computer will be reflected here so this is a 1600 by 900p feed um, and so you could just resize that to fit your canvas or if in your case just give it the same exact settings in here this is uh 1600 by 900 1600 by 900 so there's no scaling happening 60 fps this is what i like to do for twitch and uh stuff like that um especially for twitch because 1080p 60 not enough bit rate but uh speaking to that point you have to set up your twitch streaming stuff or youtube stream wherever you're streaming to on this computer so you click output and you go into advanced and this is where you set up all your bitrate stuff what i like to do for twitch is uh the whatever gpu encoder you may have give it about 7,000 kilobits per second bitrate keyframe interval 2 preset uh, max quality for nvidia if you have nvidia i'm going to leave quality for radeon max b frames is 2 as well and uh, that's good. You hit, hit apply and, f and then in the video section, like I showed, 1600 by 900p60 will give you a very good quality stream on Twitch, especially if you're doing fast paced shooter games like Apex Legends or Call of Duty. And uh, you'd be surprised versus 1080p60 where when small details start to fall apart with the kind of bitrate that Twitch allows. If YouTube, just do 1080p60 and just crank the bitrate in this section as high as your upload can handle it because YouTube doesn't really have a limit as far as ingesting bitrate. Twitch does and that's why I have these tips for you guys. And that's it. That is OBS Teleport installed on both systems and then you enable it on the gaming PC and then you add it as a source on the second PC and that's really the basics of it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and tap the microphone on the gaming PC and you'll see the volume source for teleport go up and down because everything that goes through there is uh, transferred over. And my mic is muted over there, so see now, there it is, boom, boom. Boom, boom, you see the microphone moving and I'm gonna play a video on that one. And uh, you might be able to hear it a little bit, but you can see it on the bars right there. And that's how you know your audio is coming through as well. As a proof of concept, I also ran a test stream for over 12 hours straight, playing various videos to test audio and video desync. And after 12 plus hours, I am happy to report that there were no sync issues. Yes! I love how easy this is to get started with, and it does what it tries to do remarkably well. You don't need anything crazy for a second PC to do this with, and I go into that more in this video right here, where I talk about putting together a, a cheap streaming PC. If you like this video, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss any uploads. Also, I stream to Twitch every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash coalitionchris. So if you want to talk more stream tech, more stream gear, anything like that, feel free to stop by, drop a follow, and let's talk tech. I hope you found this video useful, entertaining, or otherwise informative. Happy New Year, and I'll see you in the next video or the next stream. Bye for now.